Here we go into the first game of the day. Between the Pomelos and the Fancy Cloud Dancers. First off for red team, the Pomelos. We have Trichter. Either by Sunstorm, it is a dual gap watcha Shrike. Their ally is the slow moving squid. Left side, Hades. Mark II Heavy Flak, Lumberjack. And on the right, Heavy Carinade Huacha with a rear flare gun. And for their opponents, who we haven't seen in a while, Fancy Cloud Dancers bringing the Chariot. Hades Mercury Front Pyramid with left Banshee and Light Carinade, piloted by Dementio. And their ally, the Ron Tonkin, piloted by Spudnik. Gatling Huacha with a mortar in the rear and a right side. Banshee. So looking at what the teams are doing currently, it uh, looks like Blue doing a bit of scouting. Well, Slow Moving Squid, Shrichter running into the cave. Slow Moving Squid is, I'm not sure what they're doing. But they've got a very long sniper angle here uh, at the southern cave entrance. I'm not sure, quite sure what the value in this is because... Shrichter's just going to go in the cave. Blue Team FCD can easily zone out these shots from the slow-moving squid. Uh, they're just so far away. This positioning here. Maybe uh, Red Team just not expecting to engage their, their opponents so quickly. As you do see Shrichter reuniting with their ally. Maybe trying to bait their opponents into this more open, clouded area. And I'm not sure they're they're gonna take the bait here. Chariot and Ron Tonkin currently have a fl are in flanking position here, around the western wall. Shrichter moving in on the chariot. Big Quancha connection. Gatling hitting them as well as well. Dual focus with the slow moving squid. Galleon just laying in with the Hades. Armor is down. Quancha's ready to go, but it, the armor's rebuilt quickly. Goes down again. Forty percent permanent hole is down. Well, in the meantime, the Ron Tonkin. Uh, trying to move in, going through the hole, finding an angle on the slow-moving squid, but Chariot taking too much damage. They go down. Ron Tonkin left on their own. I don't think they're going to be able to get a fast enough kill. This is the nerfed uh, Stormbreaker. Only three guns on the left side, and Shrekter moving in to shut them down with a great Huacha connection. I don't... I think this is gonna, probably going to be a second point if the Ron Tonkin doesn't find a way to disengage. Already big damage. 70% permahole is gone. Two engines up. I don't think Trike's going to be able to make it away. Heavy flak shot. Able to finish them off. So, uh, talking a little bit about the two teams here. Pomelos, we've been seeing very active this year in 2018. Probably the strongest team at the moment. Prized primarily of uh, Skyborne Rangers as well as a few Storm Rider Scragglers joining them and their opponents FCD at one, fancy cloud dancers at one point considered the best team in the game they are the big brass revival champions back in 2016 and were one of the strong teams at the beginning of the year however seem to have fallen off since uh, April I want to say SES 198 was the last time we saw FCD competing together taking a little bit of a break and uh, we've seen them, the individual players, Spudnik and Daniel, the two captains for Blue Team, playing individually on their own teams in these past couple weeks. I think Spud was Spudnik was playing in the September tournament, as three weeks ago, uh, and haven't been doing that well individually. So we'll see what they do here. They are bringing the Stormbreaker, which not very popular post nerf, but we do see a dual focus. The Chariot moving in, the dual. Front piercing, hitting the slow moving squid, a ram connection, knocking out half the galleon's health. So it appears FCD wants to go for a very fast charging style of composites, charging style of attack. With now slow moving squid, Hades in arming times, not doing too much damage, and the Mercury is too low. With, uh, because of the gun arcs, while Shrichter just eats up the Ron Tonkin, what looked like a good start to the fight. A fancy Cloud Dancers were just not able to finish off their prey. Shrichter totally locked down the Stormbreaker, ate them up for lunch, and now Chariot with the dual piercing is just not going to be able to do enough damage. They have no, they have the Hades, but they have no follow up. And in, being a Pyramidian, probably not going to be able to disengage. This is pretty unfortunate, and perhaps a 
quick four points for the Pomelos. Watch a connection. Engines go down. Yeah, heavy flak connection. Two heavy flaks finishing them off. And that's four points. Stormbreaker, Pyramidian team composition just not working. They got that... That first surprise hit on slow moving squid did do a lot of damage, but the their, uh, the builds that they are bringing, that Mercury, Hades, Pyramidian, once they get the ram and bounce off, they do z pretty much zero follow up damage. And so, unable to close out that kill, they lose the fight. They leave this heavily damaged galleon, but it's going to be a tough comeback. Even if they manage to win, they're going to have to win three consecutive fights to take this game. To make up for this point deficit. As we see Chariot and Ron Tonkin on the opposite side of the map. Grouping up. They got to decide what they're... What they're going to do here. Do you have an update? If, uh, if you thought this match was going quickly, our off-stream match has finished. Ryder and Friends defeating Triple L. 5-1. I'm kind of surprising. Ryder and Friends... Uh... Organized by Dolly, Goyo's favorite girl, Dolly. Considered perhaps a bit of a meme team. They've <laughs> prior to today, I believe they are 0-4 competitive lifetime uh, game record. So uh, to see them be Triple L, who took SCS last weekend and uh, the Moonshine Moth mix-up, the taking the tournament the previous weekend, Triple L. Captain Scrobeard and Merwin have been doing a great job these past few weeks, so kind of surprised to see that result from our off-stream match. And uh, we'll be seeing them in the winner's finals after after this. We'll see if FCD can follow their way back into this game. Currently, Ron Tonkin is spotted. We do have spots going down for both teams, so team positions are known. And it looks like Stormbreaker... Going to be disengaging. Chariot moving to the north, trying to find an angle. We might be seeing a flank here. I think that is exactly what we are seeing. With Ron Tonkin moving in from the north. Where's Ron Tonkin? Got some good cover here. Chariot's going to be coming from the other side of the wall. And I believe, yeah, slow moving squid, taking a far, far back position. They are low health, so Fancy Cloud Dancers could capitalize on this. But Schrichter already moving in, contesting the Ron Tonkin. Engine is down on the Stormbreaker. Chariot losing their balloon to the Lumberjack, so they're out of the fight as well. Schrichter rising up. Big Huacha connection already. Ron Tonkin almost dead. Chariot switching focus to the Schrichter, having to help their ally. Well, but Chariot still taking damage from the Galleon. I think this might be it for the Stormbreaker as Schrichter bumps them up. Watch a connection, able to finish them off, and that's a fast 5-0 to zero for the Pomelos. FCD in their return, first match together in five months. Not doing so hot, but we will see them in the loser's bracket playing against Triple L. Well, I'm not sure we won't see them uh, because we're not recording that match, but... You know, we'll, <laughs> we'll maybe... Maybe if they make it to the finals, we'll see them again. 